previously on Sailing Catalpa. We see Kupang, head to Rotti Island, stop at Ba'a and meet some friendly locals. Lee catches his first fish and our motor decides to stop. Pretty excited to arrive at Numbrella, we quickly drop the anchor and grab our boards and go surfing. So we're at Numbrella, we arrived yesterday. Uh, we got here and the uh, anchored um, pretty good. So we're anchored between two surf breaks. Um, and we got here and within an hour we were out in the surf and we had a surf uh, all afternoon. It was really fun. And then um, we went over to shore and had a bit of a walk around the island, watched the sunset and had some nasi goreng. We had a pretty nice first day and it's day two. Uh, we woke up this morning and went for a surf. I think we surfed for like three hours and it was pretty fun. Uh, dropped off a little bit since yesterday and um, yeah I just came back to have some lunch and I'm just editing some movies um, that's about it this place is beautiful it is uh, yeah it's really nice we really like it so Up this morning there were songbirds calling there was sweet perfume on the wind yeah I rolled over and there was my darling so gentle in her pretty white skin she was pure she was live she was wise she was blithe like the big blue sky overhead mm -hmm. we laughed until we cried tears of joy it's been another big day in Catalpa. With, uh, I should have just rewired the whole boat when we first got it. I just thought I'd do enough to get by until we go and it's just biting me the whole way. Um, got all these old cables that have like 20 different joins in them. Um, they were going from our just, just real stiff and undersized and joins and corroded. They're just you pretty much wiggle the joins and they'd break and they were all from our ignition switch to our starter motor alternator all that so I've just rewired a whole heap of stuff and the motor actually starts because it cut out on us the other day going along one of the wires just let go uh, so now I've actually got really good charge out of my alternator I placed the alternator lead to and um, yeah, but now they got the whole boat's now got new wiring. Piece by piece. Should have just done it all at once. Good but job, anyway. babe. Good job. 
Anyway, we're away again. I think you deserve a surf and a beer. Oh. It's glassed out there, though. It's glassy, but we're it's just going to wait for it to pick up. <laughs> it's gone down to like one foot. Yeah, can we go surfing? Less. The wind had dropped off and the swell had also, so we got our mask and fins and decided to check out the reef. Lee brought his spear gun just in case he saw something worth eating. But he had no luck. Friends on Red Dragonfly arrived at Numbrella. We met them ashore and we went for a look around. We met Mayra, Simon, Makito, Freya and Zach in Cairns back in September and left Australia around the same time from Darwin. It was so nice to see some familiar faces and catch up on how our passages were and what we had got up to since Darwin. This is a typical shop in Indonesia, small space jam packed with stuff. The more you look around, the more you realise just how much is in here. Some random thing. Getting some treats, Indonesian treats for the kids yeah. to try. So Mayra speaks Indonesian, so she's our translator. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hundreds and thousands. Yeah. <laughs> like the bag. Meatballs, and then they put what? it with um, like soup. noodles yeah. and guanya soup. And they do get it. Soup. Yeah, soup. Didalam. Didalam. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. So, right down inside oh, yeah. there is the soups in the middle. Is the soup. Ah. So, it's like a meatball noodle soup. Yeah, it's cool. Javanese. Yeah. And then you put spicy sauces and um, sweet soy sauce. And an egg on top. So he, will, he has all his bowls here and people just buy it and eat it on the side of the road and then give the bowl back. Yeah, kira kira for you, yes, after all. Sepulu ribu. Sepulu ribu, one dollar. Complete. Yeah, ten thousand. Pakai telur, tiga belas. Oh, thirteen thousand if you want an egg as well. Hey, Zaki, I want you to stay off the road a bit, mate. Okay, and then he has this stool so that people can sit down. Yeah. And just... Travel through the neighbourhoods. Yeah, it's cold. <laughs> the Mr. Whippy usually, you know, yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, and usually they have a bell or something. I just put the under picking suara, yeah? Ding ding ding. Mm, ah, dai ini. Ah, picking suara. Ipo pun ding ding ding. Ah, yeah, yeah. So people hear it. Ah, and yeah. 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 What's going on over here? The Johnny Game. Remember oh. this is special hair contact. It's a drink for me, Mark. Trying some Indonesian malice. Oh, this looks good. Remember what's in there? It's like it's like nuts and chocolate. Hi. So Lee's going to fly the drone. This is where the markets are going to be tomorrow. We just came to see if we could find them today. So we're going to come early in the morning to the markets and get some fresh fruit and veggies. Hey, it's chocolate. They're good. Yeah, they are. I like that. Mm. Peanut butter and chocolate. Mm. I reckon my favourite was ginger. Um, ginger's yeah, my that's favourite. My favourite, mm. my favourite was favorite. these big things. These ones. Really? This I like one that my keto's got the now. All the peanut butter ones. Yeah, They're very yummy. Ones the ginger ones are probably yeah. the most um, like traditional 
Indonesian. It even says here, <laughs> these ginger lollies are traditional lollies that are made from local products that are chosen specially. Here at Numbrella, they grow seaweed to make a living and Mayra was asking about the process and how it all worked. Here is Ram's mother tying seaweed. Because Mayra could speak Indonesian, we went down to talk to Magdalena while she was working. Free buyers? Yeah. Um, so they harvest the seaweed, dry it out, and then they sell it on to two or three buyers who take it to Kupang, and then it's taken to other parts of Indonesia. Wow, that's okay. cool. And he wasn't sure what exactly happens to it. Yeah. He said some, some of it might be used for food, some of it for making things like shampoo and different products. Yeah. <laughs> that's cool. Ibu, selamat sore! I love doing stuff like this. Oh, it's so good that you can speak the language. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah. It's just it's so fascinating. Yeah. So he said that was his name was Raum, and he said that probably he estimates nearly 90% of the population of this village work um, doing seaweed. Oh, wow. Harvesting seaweed. That's so cool. I think he said it was the late 90s when um, it started. Yeah, so all these different plots are owned by different families. Selamat sore, Ibu Magdalena. Kami baru kenalan dengan anaknya Ibu di pantai. Kami mau melihat pertanian rumput laut. Ibu sedang mengambil, ya? Iya, panen. Panen ikat kembali. Ah. So she's taking it off and then tying it on again. Mm -hmm. So can you see in the water here how there's these rows of rope? Yeah, yeah. And it's sort of wrapped around. Yeah, so she's tying it back onto the rope so it grows. Oh, harus di ikat, yeah? Ke ke tali. Yeah, yeah. Terus pelan-pelan dia tumbuh menjadi lebih besar. Oh, wow, sudah besar itu. Kami takut datang karena ada ada tali di sini. I said we're a bit scared to keep walking because there's all the rope. We don't want to. We don't want to step on it. Jadi ini dayer ini punya ibu. Yeah, saya dengan anak saya. Oh, mulai dari mana? Dari sana sampai ke atas. Ke atas. Yeah. So she owns this section. Sampai ke ke sebelah sini. Di sana juga anak saya punya. Oh. Sampai ke batu-batu tidak? Iya, iya. Sampai ke batu itu? Ke batu, di atas juga. Oh, jauh. Okay, so her and her son own this patch right over to those rocks. Yeah, wow. So it's a big area. Yeah. And then they also have another patch that's a satu. Oh, tergantung. Satu kilo, delapan belas. Delapan belas ribu. Iya. Iya. Delapan belas, thank you.
Ah, oh, so they sell it for. Um, so they take, they harvest it and dry it, and then once it's really dry, they sell it um, according to the weight. And okay. they, one kilogram of dried seaweed is they get about eighteen thousand rupiah. Okay. Puluhari. So every forty days or so, you can harvest it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, jadi yang sebelah sini masih kecil. Yeah, yeah. So these ones are still small. Ooh, baru yeah, ikat. yeah. Ini baru ikat, yeah. So yeah. these have just been tied on. Jadi ibu ambil, ambil misalnya cabang dari yeah. yang besar. Yeah. Terus ikat lagi ikat. ke tali yeah. ikat baru. Ikat kembali lagi. Ah, uh, okay. So, so the big ones that are nearly ready to harvest, she takes, um, you know. Parts of it, what do you call it? Like parts of the seaweed mm -hmm. off and ties it on to a new one. Uh, so it keeps. Jadi ibu datang jam kira kira. Oh yeah, do a jam. So she's down here about two hours every day. Air turun datang. Ah, tidak bisa. Yeah, okay. So only at low tide. Yeah, yeah. Bagus ya karena tenang. Kita kerja di sini ini makan juga. Dimakan ya. Masak dengan apa? Selesai. Tidak begitu tahu. Bikin kue juga. Buat Bikin kue? Kue juga. Oh. Ini. So you can use it to make cakes? Oh. Kue seperti pudding? Yeah, pudding. Oh, oh agar, agar? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Agar, yeah. Agar, yeah. 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 agar. Agar, agar, agar. 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 It's What's like that? a, um... It's like a gelatin? Like gelatin. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's a vegetarian gelatin. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. And yeah. from this seaweed. Yeah. So yeah. it will be used in lots of different foods. We're asking her about her life. It's amazing to have someone who can communicate <laughs> better than one word. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's helpful, isn't it? It's so it, good. Yeah, it really builds a bridge. Yeah, definitely. To be able to understand in a different way. Yeah. After talking with Magdalena, we watched the sun go down and decided to go to the shipwreck bar at Bella Reef Resort for our last night with our friends as they were heading off the next day. So join us next time on Sailing Catalpa as we experience the Nambrella markets, visit Doa Island and Lee ends up back in his favourite place, the Engine Bay. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked our video, remember to give us a thumbs up. Cheers guys. Bye. Oh, it all comes all thanks to you all. to y'all